Hey guys, welcome back. Lori here on Vancouver Island. Learning how to pour paint and going to town on my very third on my third round. And so again, like I said, I don't like I don't want to experiment on these because I don't know how easily you can scrape off a record <laughs> or an LP, right? Like it's one thing to scrape off a chunk of wood. Uh, or even a flat panel canvas, but I do not want to have to scrape off records. So maybe it's easy. Maybe somebody else has poured on records and um, they can tell me if it's easy or not to pull the paint off. So anyway, I'm going to do a Dutch pour again, but it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to use a squiggly line about two thirds of the way up and then I'll blow it out both ways. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm using my purples again because I love purple. And one of these, I'm going to make three purple ones. One of them is going to become my clock for my office. And the other two will flank it on either side, I mean, of my craft room. Because I don't have a clock in here. And I should have one because sometimes it, it's like one o'clock in the morning and my husband comes in and says, are you ever going to bed? <laughs> So anyway, uh, let's go. I'm going to flip this to music and uh, do my squiggly line and blow it out. And then we'll see what you think. I love these Dutch pours for two reasons or two more, three reasons, I guess. One, because they're super quick to do. Two, because they don't use very much paint. And three because they look so darn beautiful when they're done. Anyway, so that's three very good reasons to um, do the Dutch pours on here. And I'm so glad that I learned how to do them. Thank you again, Gay, for figuring out what I was doing wrong and helping me out there. Anyway, uh, let's get to pouring paint. Totally forgot to hit record on that. <laughs> ah, my dummy. Anyway, there you go. Look at that, how that turned out. Uh, I think I need to come in here with my little blower and blow some out a little bit there, but uh, I'm pretty overall happy with it. Uh, yeah, it does need definitely some more wispiness over here, so... I'm going to do that and yeah. So sorry, I missed hitting the record button there, and oh, there's honey drilling away again, or something out there, sawn, or anyway, uh, yeah, I've blown this out a little bit here, and I'm actually loving this here. So I'm just going to tilt it a little bit because I want to stretch it a little further up this way and maybe a little further down to the bottom. So, but look at the cells that are popping up again. Oh my goodness, not as many as the last time, which is good because I don't like it actually when my 
when I'm overwhelmed by cells. I actually like kind of the feathery ends and the the patterns and the stuff that show up and oh my gosh I gotta try to not blow that off because it's absolutely beautiful <laughs> anyway let's tilt a little bit This turned out quite interesting. I think number one is still my favorite, but I am going to do three of them. So I think the next one in the purple, I'll do um, the same thing I did with the blue one back a couple videos ago, the first record pour that I did. Um, but I think that this time I will pile my colors light to dark to try to get more of a lighter center. Uh, the blue on the center is a little bit dark for my taste. I suppose I could always um, throw in some other colors. I see other people doing that all the time and I'm just kind of always afraid to mess with it because I might screw it up after it looks so beautiful. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. I... Um, I had fun doing it, and have a great day. Bye now.